down. Knight's duty to fight. Fighting is not what I do.
Your Holiness. Please, no. He's dead. What in the world? What's happening, Temenos? Appreciate your courage, but I need not be sheltered from any and all danger. Temenos. Here it comes, Crick. To battle, Crick. To battle! Where was I? <laughs> Holy light! Illuminate the darkness! Is that all? Oh dear. You're welcome. My shield shall hold! Take this. Yet again, dear Crick. You may as well get behind me if all you have to offer are cruel jokes. In the sacred name of the Thunderblade, I will smite this creature. Well now, you may prove reliable yet. In which case, I had better do mine. <sighs> to work. You're welcome. Summon us! No! In the sacred flame, break!
Bravo, little lad! Say your prayer! Holy light! Illuminate the darkness! Oh dear. Holy light! Illuminate the darkness! Must repeat. <laughs> to work. Uh. Holy light. Illuminate the darkness. Hmm. I'll cleave you in the way. My shield shall hold! Oh dear. Holy light! Illuminate the darkness! <laughs> Just that! Pontiff. Why? Why did this happen? And how? Steady yourself, Crick. We must keep our wits about us. Forgive me.
enormous claw marks down his back. The beast did this, without a doubt. He's yet warm. We're too late, but not by much. What a horrific accident. An accident? You view life through a keyhole, Crick. How do you mean? A cathedral window, shattered. A massive beast, roaming within. The pontiff, slain. Temenos. Hmm. Temenos? The truth lies in the flame. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Given the current scene, I believe this is roughly how things looked before the Pontiff was slain. First, we must find out how the beast came to be here. It must have left a trace somewhere around here. Now, let us be led to the truth. Looks like someone burnt incense here. It smells a fool's poppy. A flower known to attract all manner of beasts, but especially those of the Varg family. In other words, it's no coincidence we found that foul creature here. It must have been lured to the cathedral. Shards of the cathedral window are scattered across the floor. But this window contains powerful wards that keep evil at bay. So how did it get through? Hmm. This shard has a bit of dirt on it. As though it landed outside the cathedral. Suppose it did land outside the cathedral. The window could have been broken from within, and the shards retroactively scattered inside. In which case, this was not the beast's doing, but the work of another. I see it now. The broad strokes of the scene have become apparent. Though, one thing still troubles me. The four toppled candlesticks. These are never seen in the cathedral but for a few important ceremonies. So, why were they out tonight? In fact, the pontiff once told me that the flames of these candles represent the sacred flame itself. eager to seal their evil counterpart away, 
became as four sacred flames and settled into slumber. The truth lies in the flame. It's a recreation of the scripture. This is no mere coincidence. It was premeditated. Yes, yes. I do believe I have it figured, Crick. Ah, Temenos. Welcome back. The fragments of the window you see. If you look closely, they flex of dirt upon them. Which suggests it was broken from within, and the shards were scattered across the floor afterward. Add that to this sensor, which contained the lingering scent of an incense known to lure all manner of monsters. You mean... Someone shattered the window and attracted the beast, which killed His Holiness. Then this is no accident, but a murder. I am all but certain. Who... who would do such a thing? Indeed, that is the question. I believe we have a hint, however. Look. These candlesticks were carelessly toppled. You may suppose they were knocked aside when the Pontiff was attacked. But these are only taken out for a handful of important ceremonies. So why were they out tonight, and surrounding the altar, no less? Hmm. The gods, eager to seal their evil counterpart away, became as four sacred flames and settled into slumber. That's a book of scripture! But why was it hidden away in the pulpit? The truth lies in the flame. I believe His Holiness sensed the impending danger and hid it for us to find. Hoping that someone would understand the significance of all this. There is something in this bit of scripture, a truth not yet uncovered. That will be all, Inquisitor Temenos. The Sacred Guard will take over from here. Why are you here? We got word of a beast prowling the area, but I see we're too late. And I see the Pontiff's been killed. <sighs> we will be asking for your statements later. Leave it once, and take nothing with you. Let us be off. Crick, I have something to ask of you. I need you to investigate something for me. Oh? And what might that be?
Oh, gods above. Pontiff Yorg, father to our flock. Was as the sacred flame onto us, scattering the shadows cast along our path. And we shall tell his story for generations to come. Your Holiness. The sacred flame itself wavers in sadness this day. We may never fully comprehend what we've lost. We meet again, Deputy. I wanted to speak with you since you discovered the scene. Did you take note of anything unusual? Let me think. No, not a thing. We both know that's not true, Temenos. Reflect on what the dear Pontiff would think of your lies. We, the Sacred Guard, are an independent investigative body within the Church. One that has long upheld order and peace within the Church's purview. The Pontiff set up the Inquisition so that he could participate in that process. But now he's gone. Perhaps it's time you got to proselytizing. Have you anything useful to say, or have you simply come to crow at me? Is it not the duty of the Sacred Guard to protect the Church's influential members? Is the onus not, therefore, on you? <sighs> Heal, pup. You're still playing the Pontus loyal hound, I see. Hmm. Now, if you'll excuse me, I still have other matters to look into. To the library with us, Crick. You sicken me, Temenos. Why did you feel the need to provoke her, Temenos? I was merely pointing out the facts. By lying? You said you didn't notice anything at the cathedral. <laughs> I'd like to say that was born of simple expedience. They may be your compatriots, Crick, but they are not to be trusted. So, did you do as I asked? Well, I asked everyone who would have been in the cathedral that night. But not a soul saw anyone suspicious. Hmm. Which begs the question of how the Sacred Guard found out. Temenos? Wait, that's the book of scripture we found at the cathedral! Lower your voice, Crick. This was a parting gift from the Pontiff. We cannot be shouting about it from the rooftops. Is it of any significance? Hmm. It looks like any other book. Oh. There's a note between the pages. What the 
does it mean? I've not a clue. But it's clearly of grave importance. Ah, if it isn't the Sacred Guard, do you still have need of us? Crick, you've been reassigned. Understood. You'll be informed of the location later. Pack your belongings. I've no need of you, Hound. Reassigned as quickly as you were recruited. It was a short and beautiful friendship, Crick. It was hardly budding, Temenos. <laughs> I see you won't be taken in. We weren't in each other's company long. But I believe I see what His Holiness saw in you. Why you were chosen. It was an honor. You do now. I think I shall set off on a journey. A journey? Indeed. To find the one who murdered the pontiff. I have a hunch, you see. And well, doubt is what I do. Take care of yourself, Temenos. I must take my leave. First, I must meet with Lucian, the theologian. The one who was with the Pontiff, and thus is now of great interest to me. His Holiness concerned himself with the movements of the heretics while alive. So an interrogation of Lucian may be in order. Hmm. Though I cannot help but wonder... The Pontiff left that note in the scripture. He knew his own death was nigh. And soon night shall fall. Hmm. I must divine the truth behind those words. Temenos! I heard the news, that you're leaving the village. Forgive me for not saying farewell, Minta. This is to be a journey of healing. I must mend my broken heart. Or so I'd like you to believe. <laughs> Tis impossible to know what goes on in that mind of yours. But I know you'll conduct yourself well. I shall miss your orations of the history, Temenos. Farewell. Farewell, Mint. Please, keep in touch. If you'd like, that is.
Where was I? Now time! To work. Holy light! Illuminate the darkness! Goodness, what a tantrum that was.